in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you step by step how to take this jersey and turn it into Green Bay Packers jersey. Ali here from Sports Templates, and today I'm bringing you guys a new template pack. In this pack, we're gonna have two types of football jerseys. The first type is the game jersey, which looks more like the official jersey that the players wear on the field. And for this jersey, we have four separate templates. We have the front view, three quarters view, the back view, and the back three quarters view. We also have the fan jersey, which is called the fan legend jersey by Nike. It also comes in four different templates. We have the front view, the front three quarters view, the back view, and the back three quarters view. So to get started, I've already created a Photoshop library here, and you can find the link in the description below where you can just add this library to your Photoshop and you can follow along with me step by step. To get started, I looked online and I found this image so we can use it as a reference. And as you can see, this is the same game jersey that we have in this template, which is the more expensive one. You can see this one is for 149 and then the legend jersey is a little bit cheaper and it's the more everyday wear type and it is the one we have in this template. And we can start with the torso so we can do we can go to editable parts open it up and then go to torso now here we have a smart object a smart layer to add our designs and under it we have a basic shape that we can change color so since the design only has the number on it we don't have to change anything at the base layer so we can just hide this one and now we're gonna end up with the torso design here so we can just click on the packers green color you can apply it to it and then right side of the jersey and the left side of the jersey. We also need to change the color on the background. So we just change it after we hide the jersey back here, smart object. And now we're done with torso. Moving on to the left sleeve, we can go to the smart object here that wraps around it. Now we need to create this stripe pattern and it should be pretty easy. We just need to create a big rectangle like that break it up make it yellow and then Control j to duplicate Control t to transform now while holding alt shift we can size it and it's gonna size exactly the same distance from both the top and the bottom so break it down to something around this and then make it green then do the same thing again Control j Control t to transform alt shift while transforming to create a smaller one and now this one can be white so can do it a little bit off way I never do full white or full black on these templates so they can still have some details on them and now we'll just hide the grid and we'll pick the green color for the back here one last thing we can do is add the Nike logo so we can double click drag it into the design, make it a little bit bigger, something like this, and do off-white as well. Let's save and see how we did. All right, so you see that the Nike logo was at the middle and we need to have it at the edge of it. And I think the stripes here look a little bit too big so we can go back to the smart object, collect, shift, select all these layers and try to make them a little bit smaller. So something like this, then drag that Nike logo, put it to the edge. So around here and now looking at it, it's gonna look more realistic. I think we can bring that Nike logo a little bit down and bring it out a little bit and maybe make the white part here a little bit smaller something like this then make the whole thing a tiny bit smaller all right drag it down a little bit and see looking better now if we need to line this up with the sleeve line we just need to push it down so we can just go here Push it down like that, then save. 
that's perfect. All right, now to do the same thing for the right sleeve, we can just easily close this one, open right sleeve, double clip, and then we just open the left sleeve smart object, then hold the three layers that create this pattern, and while clicking shift, we drag them into the other sleeve, and they're gonna fall at the same exact place. Now we hide the grid, go to libraries, and select that green, then we do the same thing with the Nike logo, but this time we line it up to this edge. And let's control save and see what we did. Usually they don't have Nike logos on both sides, so we can just add the NFL logo here instead. So it's already in the library, so you can just drag it and place it here to look as if it's on the edge of the sleeve and save it all right i think we need to push it down a little bit make it a little bit smaller save it all right looking good we can move on to the shoulders all right open your left shoulder hide the grid make it green change the number so we're doing aaron rogers so we're gonna do number 12 and we'll do the same thing on the other shoulder just write number 12 here you can see that part of the number is being shown because not the whole shoulder is visible from this point of view but you can see that it's number 12 from here and number 12 from here just part of it now one last thing we need to do here is the collar so we can just open the first part of the collar and see how it's done it's basically the same pattern so we can pretty much copy it from the sleeve all right let's size it up a little bit okay control save this line looks a little bit too big so we need to make it smaller so we'll just select the green and white while holding control shift just make them smaller a little bit make sure it's centered to this line then control s to save now we get something a little bit more like the example same thing with the other side now it's just a matter of dragging these layers and placing it on the other side now we save it and it's done now for the back of the collar the line is not visible as we can see from here so you can just hide the smart object and just and just select this color back and make it yellow one more thing we can we can do is adding some details here on the stripe so we can just hide this maybe make it gray and now I have some tag design that you can put here all right let's save it and now it looks like this i think these small details can add more realism to the design and makes it look more interesting one more thing we can add is barcode here so we can just go back to the torso back jersey turn it on double click hide the grid make the background green and just grab this barcode here and just put it in the center over here let's save and that's pretty much it for the base design of the jersey now moving on we can work on adding the embossed text crest and the patch down here so if you zoom in you can see that these layers feature a different texture than the texture of the jersey so they would look like they are they are sewn in on top of it now to edit that you just need to go to embossed logo slash graphics go all the way down to add your shirt design here double click and now you can change everything here so for the number do number 12 i've added this black border to it but if you don't need it you can just right click on the font layer and clear layer style and that's gonna go away for here I have uniform but you can just add Rogers 
or you can just remove this usually it's it's not here but i think it just adds a nice touch to design down here we have the patch i can't include original logos in here because of copyright issues so i just made mock logos just to as a placeholder and then you can just add your own logos here you can add the original logos or you can add your own logos if you design this for your own business or for a client so here i'm just adding the nike logo instead just put it in a patch and then i'm adding the nfl logo this text is editable so you can change it however you want this is editable and the fonts the font i'm using is a free font called united serif regular you're gonna find the link to it when you download this file you can just find it anyway just look for google united serif regular and you're gonna find this font in the first result it's the same font i'm using for the for for the number here and now i just need to copy that nfl crest and bring it up here to replace this placeholder crest just make it a little bit bigger that we're good to go so we can just save it and now we see how it sits on top of it and you can see how these graphics and text sits on top of your design featuring a different material same thing goes for the patch down here one last thing i'd like to do is change the background color so we can just go all the way to the last layer click the same background color here and bring in the packers font here just make it a little bit bigger something like this and now to give it that cool effect at the end there's a little bit shadow so you can just go here copy layer style hide this original text and then paste layer style here and kind of adds this shadow to it and that's our final design this same tutorial can apply to all of the seven remaining templates in this pack and if you zoom in to see the details here you can see how we just paid attention to all the different materials on this jersey made sure that it looks as close as possible to real jerseys and we even try to do the small stitching here all the small details you see on these jerseys judge implement everything here and of course uh, this template comes with dynamic lighting so if you turn on this dynamic lighting layer you're gonna get extra lights that are editable so if you just open it double click to open the smart object and go go to hue saturation you can just move this slider to kind of change how the light hits this material however you want it on your layer so let's say i want kind of a top top down lighting kind of like this i can pick the position for this slider then i go to channel mixer and kind of fine tune it see how harsh and how light i want this light to be so let's say something super soft like this all right and then we save it and now we have an extra light that's coming from the top if you need it to be more pronounced you can just increase the opacity up to 100 and now you can see the difference so it depends on what kind of scene you're putting this design on and one last thing let's say you made this and there was one part of the light you didn't like for example i'm already don't like how it's kind of doing this effect here i can just add a mask to our layer go select the soft brush like this put opacity around 75 and select black and then just try to paint away the lights you don't like maybe lower the opacity a little bit so like around this and just try do something like this kind of Bring it down and then we can always disable and enable to see how we kind of painted these lights on the model and that was it for this tutorial hope you guys enjoyed it and looking forward to see what you guys can do with this template if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe so you don't miss our next tutorial and stay tuned for the next one and don't forget to follow us on 
Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and see you guys in the next one.